Hello, I'm back making a short uh, update video of what I've been doing. I've been testing and pulling things apart, putting them back together. It takes a little time. But uh, I've been testing the cores. Now in the past someone had asked about the cores and permeability and I said, oh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be jumping around. <laughs> you know? Well, I've had to, you know, I just have to test all this stuff to know, right, to make the best design. <laughs> so I've been testing the cores. I made a couple uh, high impedance coils uh, with not a good result. Um, tried some other things. I've I'm going to be um, applying what I've learned uh, with the aluminum as well. And I just want to mention people have been asking about the aluminum, and I've done this in the past, uh, getting the Thane Hines effect. I had a very high impedance coil, just one coil, wrapped on this aluminum. Nice. Ah! Wrapped on this aluminum, right? And what happens is this aluminum acts like a winding in itself. So basically, having that high impedance coil wrapped on that winding made it like two windings. So this creates a lens effect, and I've had it on here as well, and it gave the same effect. Except that I don't need a real high impedance to do it <laughs> with the coils wired like this, which is the nice thing. But anyways, when you put that aluminum in there, what happens is there is a lens effect from this aluminum. Not from the coils, right? I haven't seen any lens at all. But this creates a lens and slows the wheel. And then when you use the electricity, it speeds up. And I haven't done as much as I want to with that, but I'm going to be getting into that, like I mentioned before. So basically, uh, well, and to go with this, uh, guys, I'm, I'm at a point now, um, I've experimented with the cores and the coils. I'm going to get wire tomorrow, a uh, 10 pound spool of 22 gauge. This is 25. I'm going to get either 22 or 20 somewhere near there, a little bigger, but not as big as a 16 gauge. But um, I just want to show you where I'm at. Uh, I've been testing, my, now my last video I talked about the shape and how Ed may not have used a PMH, so I wanted to try this and you'll see it works just as well, it doesn't have, doesn't have to be a PMH. Uh, but I've also found that the cores <laughs> I had these great big giant cores uh, next to the wheel that I made. And these are made of wire. Uh, they had, it's, it's iron. It's not it's pure soft iron, but it's very magnetic. Um, had those up against the wheel, and th you don't get an effect with the um, laminated cores. So now I've got rebar in there. Three pieces enough to fill. And, um, you know, the same gap there that I've been using. And without it being connected here in the back, um, there's much less attractive drag through that core, just like I thought. So the attraction to the core is less, but I seem to be getting just as much. So this is good. Now, there is much more iron there. There is three times three times as much iron here together as I've ever used um, in a U in any of my other videos so and I I'm I'm getting the same results so I want to just show you guys I'm gonna give her a, a flip get her going again we'll let her get up to speed I've got the input measured and I've got measurements on the output uh, this is AC volts before the uh, switch and rectifier and then this is amps and I have that hooked right onto the rectifier so when I flip the switch it's going to go through this meter and tell me my amps and we'll see it's going to speed up now again I'm able to put more iron here because there isn't an attractive connection like before um, but I have much more iron there. So, in effect, it's working out to 
the same numbers as I had before. Where am I? It's going to go up to about 362. And then I'll engage the coils and you'll see it speed up. And it again, it speeds up without it being a U, which is very cool. Again, because there's there's less attraction. Um, very interesting that there's no effect with the laminated cores. It, it gets, the effect goes away, actually. So that builds to about 50 volts. And we have our RPMs. Oh, we're at 367. Oh, I thought it was at 360. I think 360 in the past was uh, where it settled before prior to flipping the switch. Okay, 369. I'm going to call it. And I'm going to flip the switch on. Here we go. So our volts have, have diminished. And, and again, it's not shorted out. It's going through this meter. Getting uh, 0 0.07 amps. Input starting to drop. Climbing. <clears throat> so the wheel's picking up speed right now. Just like before. So we're getting an effect here, right? Now it's not going to speed up. The way I have it set up isn't ideal, but I wanted to make a video talking about some of the things I found out. Um, the input's dropping, right? And we're at that basically the same number. Still the same resistors in line with the motor. So, let me straighten that out, sorry. So 381, still climbing a bit. It's going to settle around there, uh, maybe a little, little higher. But basically the same percentage, right? We're still at about 87% there. Um, as it when compared to nothing next to the wheel. But this is a good output. Um, I should should have hooked the little motor on there to have it turn, but it's working better and better. And also, I've tried a solid piece of iron on here. One solid piece, and they did, it didn't weigh as much as these, and uh, worked very well as well. But just wanted to show you guys these things. So our inputs dropped. And I'm going to be testing input. Um, I'm going to be, uh, just like I planned on doing, talked about in previous videos. But um, just wanted to make an update to show you guys what I'm up to, some of the things I found out um, concerning the core. I'm going to get wired tomorrow, and um, and then I'm going to start making coils and uh, give her a go. Um, I have some other things I want to test here. I want to implement the aluminum as well, uh, things like that. But I'll be able to at least wind two sets of coils so I can start testing input. But I'm getting a 10 pound spool anyway, so I'll be able to make more uh, as well. But there you go, just wanted to make a little update for you. It's been a week or so, and I've been working at this pretty good, so just wanted to let you guys know I'm not tangled up in magnet wire. <laughs> but there you go, little update, and um, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.